Hi guys, welcome to part 6 of my 2024 Christmas Village full tutorial series. The mountain is back where it belongs, but I did that off camera simply because it's uh, useless to show you some strange sliding movements and I have reassembled the bridge after two parts of absence. This part of six will be mainly focused on landscaping. I need to finish the river because I need to work on the rest of the layout and I will start the landscaping of the left side of the layout. It will be a strange <laughs> landscaping but it will remain strange at least for some more weeks and a secret for more weeks to come. Then I will also go with the landscaping of this right side because it is too flat, too low. Uh, Rebecca's house, I will not have time to complete or advance, maybe yes, maybe the door, I will finish with the door. And Rebecca, um, Rebecca is still not there in the house and I don't know if I have or if I will have a surprise for you and show you Rebecca's but I don't think so maybe a little preview while I'm modeling because right now everything concerning Rebecca needs to be modeled but I will surely continue the first uh, timid section and maybe something more but right now let's do a lot of landscaping
Now guys, the stage, the first timid section, what I have here, I have the stage, you have seen me doing, I simply did off camera 
a black wash because it needs time to uh, dry. Then I added an horizontal support there in order to have this uh, at 90 degrees from each angle. So now this stands correctly. What I have here, I modeled this little hell piece there with a hole that I will place there guys I will place it like like that okay and uh, uh, I don't know if I will use some resin or some epoxy glue to fix this because I need this to be as steady as possible and it will be there like that this will be the back this will be the front you can see that okay. i have a little hole here why you certainly remember this little guy here that i speak you that i told you about three or four times that is the smallest the tiniest um motor reductor I have found on the market and I've simply soldered these positive and negative because I will need this motor to make some movements obviously and this particular uh, motor reductor this particular electric engine has the following capacity of uh, turning faster and faster with the uh, voltage let me try to do a little experiment. I will add a little uh, a little flag there. Okay. Then I will get this and I will power it with 3 volts. And you can see I hope you can see that it is turning but it is not that fast okay i think it is between five and six turns per minute okay i stop and i switch the power from the ac adapter from three to six volts okay I double the voltage, now it is 3 volts, I double the voltage, I replug like that, and then, and then, I will switch the motor on again, you can see that it is turning much more faster <laughs> twice faster okay so it i can regulate it how i want now uh, let's stay at six volt and i will place this like that okay I will place it like that because I like it like that and I think that I will be using try to use some double-sided tape and check if it works double-sided tape and it should work okay double sided tape like that let me move this now what will i place here if i have this little not there this little um, thing protruding from that hole it means that i want to make it turn something First revealing of the season, guys, 
I want to make it turn mm. this little guy here, okay? This disco ball, not very perfect, but it will do what it needs to do. This disco ball. First thing you are seeing that is an Ucronia, an Ucroni. This is 70s, 1970s, pure disco music. Okay, but I want to use this. And I will need, let's say, this little guy here that will go up there. And let's see if it turns. Yes, it turns, so no problem. But I will replace this little thing that he was used to hang it on a Christmas tree. And then use these like that. But I don't think it will survive. <laughs> I will, it will survive like a Gloria Gaynor, pure disco music. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm so dumb. I will use some double, side, double two components epoxy. But let's see the result there. And if I switch this on, yeah, voila guys, even upside down, the ball turns. You can see that the ball turns. First movement of the season, guys. EPIA, guys. Now, while this uh, is drying a little more, let me introduce you what will bring the light to the system. What I have here, I have many things, but more important one is that I haven't cleaned properly yet. This little guy here that goes there like that, that allow me to incline this, you can see, and this will be a projector I have uh, soldered an LED there, okay? I, uh, I will not show you how to solder an LED because you have seen me soldering LEDs many, many times. And in this particular case, this one is uh, powered with 3 volt, and it is red, guys. Never used before a red LED, but guys, this is a red LED. I don't know if the camera is showing the effect. And I 3D printed this and it is something that it is common on every modern stage. Another thing that is an acronia. I will go inside with the LED. like that okay let's see and I know yes uh, okay I don't want this to get short-circuited 
and then I will need to find the right distance to get it projecting the light like that and uh, uh, let me try something let me make these work I will need I will need to do some experiment yes let me try something let me go in the dark Okay, guys, so this is, I don't know, I have other colors, uh, I have also green there. I don't know if I go red and blue or red and green, or maybe three colors. Let's start, let's start. Good, the two supports are there. Okay, now let me glue this there. Okay, good. Let's check the result here, guys. Okay, then let's try the three volt. This is blue. Mm. No, guys, blue is absolutely not a three volt. It is four point five volts blue but let me check the three volts red is three volt two okay let's try the three volts there and then also blue Red. Okay guys, I think that the red is to fade, <laughs> but look with green and blue. Okay, I hope you can see, because the camera right now it is, but I, I, I hope so guys, because it is too good, so green here, blue there and that's the effect if i rotate this 
I will lose completely. If I go down, I lose. But like that, the lights are spinning wonderfully. That's the effect. And you don't see around, but even around, all the, uh, all the layout, all the Christmas village will be illuminated by those lights, guys. This is somehow <laughs> to add movements, not the figurines, not the... Um, attractions, not the buildings, but the lights in movement like this and pointed. Guys, it works. It works. Uh, even, uh, I will show you uh, lately, but it works. Uh, the red one is to fade. I will explain why. Because uh, the range, you see the cone of light, I hope you can see the cone of light, it needs to be closer to get enough, but closer you don't get it. So it's not the perfect light, but blue and the green are the perfect lights, guys. Now guys, guess what? I need a stair, so a more traditional stair. So I will build with my standard styrofoam the stair uh, quickly and this will need to go on the right side, no, on the left side of the layout. Change of glasses. Don't worry guys, this is not a uh, first unboxing and full review of uh, a new item. But I acquired this a couple of days ago. It is guys from 2005, almost 20 years ago. I wanted to show you, I wanted to show you how good Lemax slash Limax was 20 years ago. <laughs> I know I'm bad against Lemax and they hate me for that. But sincerely, 20 years ago, mm, they were much better than today in design, in everything. This is unused, this is used obviously, and it comes from the Netherlands. And quickly, I want to show you very, very quickly how good this is. Uh, the box is in perfect condition, no notice inside, etc. But, guys, this is 
how Lemax was good 20 years ago. Pure design, it doesn't smell. No, I don't think so. And uh, oops, no problem. I will reclue it right now. Never, never mind. I will reglue this immediately. Ah, super glue. In this case, it is good to have super glue. Some seconds and it will be good. So you have a scene inside, okay? You have one scene, you have another scene there. This is pure Wilson and Son bookstore. And this is the title. At that uh, time, 20 years ago, uh, Lemax uh, doesn't, uh, yes, it markets there, Wilson and Son bookstore and actor studio. Uh, the packaging was completely different than today. It was in French. Yes, this is in French that comes from the Netherlands, but it is in French. In French, edifice, limine, lighted building, yes, only two languages for Europe. And one scene there, it is a little bending towards the right, but 20 years ago, they were like that. Uh, bow window there, bow window here. Uh, there is a, a luggage there with some crown on top of it. Some friezes, golden. Uh, two masks there, a symbol of the Actors Guild. And uh, some glue there, okay. And uh, book sale today, bookstore, and it is absolutely very well done 20 years ago even from the sound Lemax 2005 okay so it has almost 20 years and it is so good and maybe I will use it in this season there is also the signpost actor studio upstairs and the the light Oops, I will need to change it. 20 years ago, light bulbs were like this one. This is uh, out of flow nowadays because it is a filament light bulb. Uh, it is illegal to sell, the, to sell those. And the AC adapter is 220 volt. Yes, 220 volt, so it wasn't used for uh, US but only for Europe this one so 220 12 volts okay the lights is 12 volts oops okay uh, uh, very uncommon for Lemax normally nowadays Lemax is 4.5 volts this one was 12 volts but I don't care I will replace this with some new uh, bulbs I have a, a bunch of replacement ones. I will not use the DSC adapter as I will be using my, my connecting. But I wanted this building to be in my collection. And it's very rare to get some items like this one in Europe. Because 20 years ago, uh, Lemax was very well known only in uh, some parts of France and in Netherlands but the rest of Europe no and this is Wilson's and Sour bookstore and actors studio a final recap of part 6 of the 2024 season and I am starting from the lake the mini river that goes here, then the rock in plain middle, and then it is also visible from under the bridge, guys, with the mm, protector there, and also from this point of view here, 
etc. It has been extremely time consuming. I've started by using some uh, small trash bags to uh, protect the styrofoam and the plywood underneath it from the spilling and from the soap that will uh, goes under it obviously because the styrofoam is uh, permeable to liquids and so the soap too then i painted as uh, you have seen me doing and as i always do uh, blue green mm, brown and then some yellow like in this case i had some yellow there to simulate some sand some um, gold maybe etc then the blue is visible sometimes uh, then i had some sand some aquarium sand and some little pebbles, different colors of little pebbles, as I already did in the lake there. Then the soap, you have seen me using the soap. Uh, I will most probably need to uh, adjust here and there because when I've uh, built the river, the, the, the borders, the two borders, the two sides there, using the plaster as you have seen um, plenty of plaster get into the water so maybe I will need to refresh a little bit but it is for next time I used some real rock one there one here and one there guys and another one here to help me get uh, the silhouette the um, the old mini um, hills that I wanted to have the proof that it was impossible to build a bridge there with this giant rock here, there, etc. So I went with this way and I used the plaster to add some more uh, forms there and now the river is completely isolated from every side. Uh, this rock here with some uh, white water it's the reason why the river enlarged there with the water um, hitting against the uh, the rock and uh, having some more power towards the right towards the left it creates this isthmus there that is visible from uh, every side especially here i need to clean it because this is uh, white there some residual of a plaster but I will do it. Uh, I also added all the wires for the street lamps and this one is going under, under and then it comes here. Same thing for this one, uh, then I will need to uh, to hide it in some... some so I, I will find a way to hide them more. And the bridge is here. I still uh, need to replace the not to replace to put there uh, the the patio and the two arcs there. But as I will need to do some more work on the mini river, it will come next time. Uh, and also some. Mm, some water so uh, but now the water will not risk uh, to be damaged again with the plaster with the uh, painting etc uh, I also went with some green and brown around the uh, the border there and that's the mini river it's some sort of an hourglass guys uh, time consuming but I wanted this like to be that uh, having a separation from this side from the other side but some improvements are needed and I will do them then here guys I have uh, a small ramp and the next time I will have here a mini stairs because this ramp here is for goods, for chariots, for sledge, etc. For cart. And then this uh, side here will be used by people to climb. So I will add a stair. 
then something unusual for me having not a straight corners but having a round there and here I will add some trees some vegetation that will improve the point of view of the uh, of the layout then uh, Rebecca's house is there guys I managed to print the door that is on the floor right now there but also the support for the door uh, I haven't uh, proceeded further simply because I need to find a way to get light inside here guys so here uh, the level will continue here then up there and then some strange things I've uh, changed my way of doing the arcs and you have seen uh, and this is uh, sorry guys uh, see through you can see through it okay guys and uh, why I did this because here I will have a house with uh, some uh, scene there then here with the stairs you have seen me building uh, it will not be placed like this at 90 degrees or like that or like that but it will be placed like this a little inclined and here we start another scene at a lower level because this is 12 centimeters so 9 centimeters here plus 3 equals 12 it will uh, don't worry about that that little scratch here because I will add some um, design all around the arc and this is not a Roman arc it is a gothic arc and so here I will have a scene then under this scene I will have another scene there and the layout will go up here then again up then again up then again up so it will be a climbing part the left side and i will stop here but, but this is a simple way but not a standard for me to make another type of stairs so eight centimeters tall uh, with uh, nine steps i have one millimeter because those are 0 0.9 millimeters multiplied by 9 equals 8.1 centimeters but that 0 0.1 centimeters that one millimeter is uh, almost invisible when I will build the rest and these help uh, the lateral uh, the lateral uh, um, design help in using that it is uh, ancient and modern I will need to carve some design here and there. This is not finished, far from being finished. So here I will have another scene and here some delimitation from this part here and this one with an axis maybe here, another axis. Still need to go because uh, yesterday I hadn't a clue, an idea at all uh, for what uh, I will be doing here. Here I have a point of view. Uh, I'm managing uh, minute by minute, but this is uh, the point of view. And you have seen a preview of what will be Rebecca's figurine. Uh, I've only shown you the final uh, steps because uh, my original design that you have maybe seen one of my um sorry guys i'm searching this one of my uh, uh, reply to the to some comments to part five uh, my original design is this one for rebecca was this one for rebecca and this is the percentage of the printing from what i've uh, I modeled this then in order to be in scale with the rest of the figurines I will add to print it at 50% of what I've um, of what I've um, 3d modeled uh, Rebecca <laughs> uh, one of the viewer of this channel asked me if it was possible to make her uh, her ears uh, longer Obviously, this is just a sketch. Obviously, yes. So I've shown you only the process of 
making the hairs longer but always in movement with the uh, with the breeze with the morning breeze with the uh, sunset breeze but always in movement sorry for the sketch it wasn't clear from the sketch that uh, uh, Rebecca was uh, uh, looking yes to the book at the book but also to the viewer and I've tried to go uh, uh, as much as possible with this design here but you have seen that it is almost that design there and so Rebecca will be present in the in front of her house I think for part seven not painted I think maybe yes maybe not uh, let's go towards the other side guys and I've decided to go this way guys so it will be at a higher level I don't know maybe I will add the some more centimeter that is 12 centimeters i will add maybe some more and uh, even from this part the level will start here then goes up then go up 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 there <laughs> look at the stage guys the oh yes <laughs> i've forgot to show you during the building of these the the, the spy speakers the two little spy speakers there but also the giant speakers there obviously this will have a, a back there and obviously then the design it is previewed to be crazy as this one not a square advert with this big 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 round corner there maybe with around the stairs that help people getting access there but very uh, soft not too steep okay the and don't worry about those little uh, grooves there this is this was so huge to to cut uh, and so i made some mistakes but as always i will place some walls against that uh, so the I wanted also to test if uh, the plaza there with the statue with the ball, um, palace ballroom uh, would have accepted some other um, buildings and I've used the, the building just received two days ago uh, the one from Netherlands, the one that is from 2005 Cadendon collection the problem is that the point of view will need to be different so this one is in plain point of view and the two other buildings will be facing I got also a comment uh, why not uh, using this as a park so only the palace ballroom there and then the rest a uh, pure um, pure park yes I, I needed to test if it works with the buildings if it doesn't work i will switch to a park also another comment uh, blue green bluish um, yellowish etc why though this is a strange color uh, it is intentional mm, it's not a terracotta because a terracotta is uh, um, what it is uh, after the primer this is iridescent even if uh, you can't imagine it but this is iridescent guys uh, I like those colors here but as this is very dark maybe you can get it that it is iridescent uh, right now I don't think I will modify because what is down it is pure evil <laughs> or pure bad and this is supporting something that it is there and then i wanted to have uh, some uh, some different colors uh, if i go pure blue every everywhere i don't have a differentiation yellow no too bright red mm, too heavy so this is between brown and uh, maroon it is uh, 
not the perfect color, color I know, but at least it is different from uh, the main uh, the main colors of the of the plaza. Uh, what color? Purple. Oof. Yes, I could go with purple, or I could go with orange, pure orange. But I don't know, guys. Uh, yes, it is intentional. Mm, is really ideus? Maybe yes. But <clears throat> I wanted something to be. Uh, to be detached, a color that will detach from the good that is represented by the. Maybe I'm making a mistake here, but right now I don't think I will change. Maybe next uh, with next part I will change my mind, but right now no. So. I don't still don't know what we'll have here. But guys, you are waiting for these guys. I know that you are waiting for this. And let me have the camera there, maybe a little like that. And let me switch off all the lights. Guys, this is the dancing, <laughs> the disco, uh, it, it needs to be completed, uh, it's still missing the band, yes, I will have a band there, but I will not reveal what type of band, and please look at how the lights are dancing with blue and uh, green, okay, it is a strange color there, it is also blue there, but it's like that with this kind of, but the perfect dancing of the lights there, green and blue. And the ball is turning at six volts. So it is uh, turning, I think, at uh, 12 rounds per minute around that 12 rounds and the effect is different from left to right with the blue and the green dancing around and the effect also goes towards the other so this is the first time I'm using something that it is moving but it is the light that is moving even if it is not precisely the light but it is reflected light this this too is some sort of movement and i let you hear for a moment the very low noise of the motor you hear and i haven't shown you during uh, but I also made this little cover here that will cover everything, etc. Uh, and will hide the motor. Uh, maybe I will need to adjust a little the lights, but right now I think the lights uh, goes well. And also there, for upon we we'll have, I could switch to a lower uh, voltage. Uh, le let me switch to a lower voltage for uh, a second to see what will happen the switching to half that speed okay
maybe yes maybe like this one also it is good this is this is half the speed that was previously having and this is not yes this is the slowest it can go even this is a good is a good movement for the lights and it makes all around some good effect even here on the rest of the village it will project the lights everywhere like that i will not go to the maximum speed that is capable of simply because i think it is too much too much speed but this is slower maybe i will go with this one because it is Christmas, la 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 uh, Sorry guys, I'm a, an awful singer. But maybe yes, maybe the slower, the slower um, rotation is best suited. It allows the light to get uh, here and there. Yes maybe it is good uh, and uh, I will need to add the back I will need to add some other props etc but I don't know maybe you don't like it because uh, it is 70s yes but this is Ukraine this is a new Ukraine Ukraine okay and the band the band okay and this is not the the final position. Maybe it will be uh, on the left side. I don't know. The the position of each team and um, sections uh, still need to be this decided. Um, I think that's all, guys. And Mac, please have a little dance for me. No. Ba 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 ba. Ah 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 ah. Oh, sorry, guys. Stupid. As always, <laughs> no Mac, I'm not organizing a talent show, that is for a band, Psh, don't tell anyone. That is why landscaping is so time consuming, so many hours to complete that uh, river guys. And then uh, finally you have an idea, and I have an idea, because up until two days ago I didn't have any idea at all uh, on how to uh, organize and manage the left side. Now, it is taking some different aspect. It is not more that flat. It has some curves and maybe I will add many more curves. This is the year of the curves. I will certainly continue Rebecca's and Maybe, but only if you are really good with me, I can show you the first house that will populate the left side by part 7, but only if you really are very good with me. <laughs> I can't verify anyway. And other things, guys, 70s disco music disco dance but this is a Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine. so allow me to go that crazy but with a little tiny motor it is a magnificent effect i think and nobody never told me that movement needed to be just for the figurines or the buildings or the props, why not having the light in plain movement, even if it is a trick because it is a reflected light. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my once again awful English and see you for part 7, but as always only if you really wish. Bye guys.